you guys want to hear even more music? Yeah. Yeah. Well, how about we play our whole new album? Yeah.
in case you didn't know already, that over there is Mr. Guthrie Governor. It's all right. And that back there is Mr. Marco Miniman on drums. My name is Brian Beller, and we are the Aristocrats. And, yes, and this is actually, what's your name in here? Oh yeah, regular E. This is the first time that we've ever done kind of a, a camp like this as a band. So we're very, very grateful that you guys have received us so warmly. We really appreciate you being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. We are, we just, we just put out a new album out called Trace Caballeros last week. And we're starting a, a North American tour uh, in just a few days. And so this is really the first show of the entire tour. And that's why we're playing the whole album here, because why not? So now I'm going to turn it over to Guthrie because we're going to play one of his songs. And that's how this works. We introduce the songs that we wrote. Mr. Guthrie Gummin. Hello. Uh, I should keep this brief because there's not much of a story attached to this one, really. Um, many moons ago, when we started this band and made our first album, I wrote a song called Furtive Jack, which was about this sneaky little character who goes around stealing things. And the song was the soundtrack to him kind of running away and trying not to get caught. And I've been pining for that experience of writing a song about Jack stealing things and running away ever since. So I thought, I'll write another song, like the, the, the continued adventures of Jack, if you will. It seemed reasonable to call the song Jack's Back, which is not only accurate, but also rhymes. So <laughs> that's why I called this song Jack's Back. Would you like to hear it? I do yeah. hope so. Yeah. Very well then, we shall begin.
That was Jack's back. And just to back announce, like we're an FM radio station from the days of yore, the first song that you heard tonight was Marco's song called Stupid Seven. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, I told the story already. Yeah, some of you were, most of you, were most of you at the, at the clinic today? Yeah. All right, cool. So we got that. Well, first of all, I'm going to tune. Fantastic Four or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we're almost there. And yes. And that brings us to this little tale of southern american woe i was i wrote the song and it was uh, about when uh let me see here it was i think about a year and a half ago i was uh, just recently leaving my former home in nashville after getting divorced and driving a u-haul with all of my possessions across the country I and mean, already it's a country song right yeah. just missing the dog and the pickup truck and all that stuff anyway so I'm feeling pretty down. I'm just kind of driving. There's you know, this big truck and it's not driving very well. And I'm tired and I'm actually sick also. And I drive the truck into a gas station. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and I pull over because I gotta get some coffee because I'm passing out and I've got like 200 miles to go. So I pull into the parking spot at the gas station and I get out of the truck and this woman comes running up to me. And I see we have some miners here, don't we? Uh oh. Should I blow right through that stop sign? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. I have the parental consent. Yes. This woman comes running up to me and she goes, You just ran over my fucking car! You just ran right over it! I'm like, what are you talking about? And she's pointing at this beat up Chevy, it's like got a million things in it, like you know, three different colors paint. She's like, You just you just ran right over, you ran right over it! I'm like I'm sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I'm just, I just pulled in here. And she's like, oh, oh, you know what? That's just fine. That's just fine. I don't know. Yeah, it's day has been so crazy already. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. And she just stormed <laughs> off. I'm like, okay. So I go in to get my coffee. And then another woman comes walking in behind her. Not behind her. She just comes walking in. The other woman was already gone. She just goes, you just ran over my sister's car. <laughs> like, she's got a sister. <laughs> So now there's no way for me to get out of there, and I walk out, and now the sister and the original woman are both yelling at me. They're like, you ran, you hit, you blah, 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 blah. And what they said was that I pulled in and I sideswiped the car as I went past. She was filling up with gas, and I kind of went past it and hit her with the, with the tire, and hit this big black mark that was on the front right quarter panel, along with a hundred other marks on the car, right? So I'm like, this can't be true. So I walk up to somebody in the drive-thru who was sitting there, and I go, did, did, I, did I hit that car? And they're like, yes, you did. I was like, Then a third woman comes up, another sister, and now the three of them were in the parking lot going, you are gonna fix this car, we're gonna call the police! No, 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 I'm just like, can I just give you something just to make this go away? We don't have to have the police here. I'm like, how about $100? 200! 150? So they said, yes, you gotta go inside and get that money right now. You go inside and get that money right now at the ATM right now. So I go inside. And she follows me inside, and I come back outside, and I give her the money, and she looks at me when I give her the money. She goes, 